Hello, People's Day. We have the Critics' Choice nominations right here, right in front of me. I've been looking forward to this all day. So I'm very excited to see what they have in store for us. See if there's any, any surprises. Best Picture, The Five Bloods, Moraine's Black Bottom, Mank, Minari, News of the World, Nomadland, One Night in Miami, Promising Young Woman, Sound of Metal, and The Trial of the Chicago 7. Now, now I'm just comprehending what I just said. Um, I'm surprised that Moraine's Black Bottom got in here. Um, any snubs, any snubs, any snubs. I can't think of anything right now. Let me pull up my letterbox to see if anything did actually get snubbed. I was looking at, um, okay. Sorry about that. Um, is the father nominated? What? <laughs> the father? The father? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Now that's depressing. Come on. That that's ridiculous. They completely snubbed the father. Okay, best director. Minari, Promising Young Woman, Mank, The Five Bloods, One Night in Miami, Trial of Chicago Seven, and Nomad Land. Um These look this looks about right when it um except for you know there's the father's not in here. Very sad. Um, so I'm glad Spike Lee's getting some um, recognition for Defy Bloods. Not very happy about that. And I believe I've seen all of these. Oh, I actually haven't seen Minari. I need to see Minari. I really want to see that bad now. But uh, who knows? I might like it more than The Father. And I might be happy that it's on there. But who knows? Best actor, Ben Affleck, The Way Back. Wow. I I wasn't the biggest fan of that movie, but it's undeniable that um, Ben Affleck gave a great performance. Riz uh, Ahemd. The Sound of Metal, Chadwick Boseman, Moraine's Black Bottom, Tom Hanks, News of the World, Anthony Hopkins, The Father. Thank, at least they nominated Anthony Hopkins for that. Thank you, Delroy Lindo, The Five Bloods. Thank God, I thought he was going to get snubbed the whole entire season, but he got, got nominated. Gary Oldman, Mank, Stephen Young, Minari. Wow, it, Stephen Young has gone a long way. I'm glad that he, like, he literally went from Walking Dead to now he's in Oscar-nominated films, so that's very good. Viola da oh, Best Actress, Viola Davis, Moraine's Black Bottom, Andrea Day, The United States versus, versus Billie Holiday, Sydney Flanagan, Never Really, Never Really, Sometimes Always, Vanessa Kirby, Pieces of a Woman, Francis McDarwin, Nomadland, Carrie Mulligan, Promising Young Woman, and Zendaya for um, Malcolm and Marie. Well, I'm glad you got nominated for that. I personally really liked Malcolm and Marie, and I, too bad it wasn't nominated for more stuff. Okay. Best Supporting Actor, Chadwick Boseman, The Five Bloods, Sacha Baron Cohen, The Trial of the Chicago Seven, Daniel, Kalu Daniel Kaluga, Judas and the Black Messiah, Bill Murray, On the Rocks, Leslie Autumn Jr., One Night in Miami, and Paul Ratchie, Sound and Metal. So I haven't seen Sound and Metal, On the Rocks, or Judas and the Black Messiah. I do plan on watching Judas and the Black Messiah um, when it's released on um, HBO Max. But yeah, besides that, this... Um, any snubs, any snubs, I'm thinking. Let's look at these. Um, I, I feel bad for Shia, Shia LaBeouf. Um, I don't know anything about these abuse allegations, even though if they are true, I, I understand why he wasn't. But I, I, I feel bad because if, if these aren't true, I mean, if those allegations, um, you know, if they're false, that really sucks for him because he, he definitely deserved to be on there. But if he did, no, <laughs> but okay. Best Supporting Actress, Mar Maria Balkaloff, Borat, sub subsequent movie film. I did watch Borat the other day, I really... Um, to be completely honest, I thought the first was far better. Here it is on my list. What score did I give it? I didn't review this, but um, I gave it a 6.7 out of 10. I thought the movie was a little bit predictable. I mean, I mean forgettable. But, um, yeah, um, but I did enjoy it. I thought the first one was far better, but... Um, yeah, it, it was a good enough sequel, and um, I believe that's his daughter that was not here for. Ellen Bernstein, uh, Pieces of a Woman, I believe that's the mother. Let's make, let's clarify that. Um, Jumanji, okay. Open another tab. I believe, yep, that's the mother. She did give a very good performance. Glenn, Glenn Coase, Hillbilly Edge, Olivia Coleman, the father. Amanda Sa Sayfield, Mank, and Yo Jun something for Minari. 
Um, baby Sour list right here. Olivia Coleman for the father. I'm glad that the mother was nominated for Pieces of Woman. Woman. Trying to think of any snubs. I, I really can't think of any. So, that's good. Okay. Um, best Young Actor. I'm just, let me see if I've even seen any of these. I haven't seen Palmer. I haven't seen Life Ahead. I haven't seen Minari. I haven't seen Never Really, Sometimes Always. I haven't seen I haven't seen any of these. So I really can't say anything on it. Best Acting Ensemble. The Five Bloods. Judas and the Black Messiah. Moraine's Black Bottom. Minari. One Night in Miami. And The Trial of Chicago 7. This is a solid list. I'm glad that the, the Five Bloods got on here. And I believe that um, Trial of Chicago, Chicago, uh, Chicago 7 will completely slip the ensemble category. I mean, sweep, not slip. Best Original Screenplay, Mank, Minari, Never Really, Sometimes Always, Promising Young Woman, Sound of Metal, and The Trial of Chicago 7. That's um, a solid list. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any snubs. What about Promising Young Woman? Okay, got it on there. Okay. Um, best Adapted Screenplay, The Father, thank you. <laughs> How did they not... Let me check. Did I misread... The father. How is the father not nominated for picture? Oh my god, that that's just baffling to me. Um, okay, let me put that to the side. Okay, um, where was I? Uh, okay, best adapt. I was on the best adaptive screenplay. The father, first cow, Moraine's Black Bottom. News of the World and Nomad Nomadland and One Night in Miami. All very good nominations. I still haven't I haven't seen First Cla First First Cow or News of the World. So Best Production Design: Emma Marini's Black Bottom, Mank, News of the World, per, The Personal History of David Copperfield, and Tenant. Wow. I thought the production design and tenant was excellent, so I'm glad to, uh, that it's getting, you know, some recognition. Best Cinematography, The Five Bloods, The First first Cow, Mank, Minari, News of the World, Know My Land, and Tenet again. Hey, um, I was a huge fan of Tenet. As you can see, it's my second favorite of 2020. I really loved it, and I'm glad to see that I at least got two no nominations at Critics' Choice. Okay, Best Costume Design, Emma, Mank. Mulan, <laughs> The Personal History of David Copperfield, and Promising Young Woman. Um, Emma is probably going to get this. I, ha I haven't even seen it, but I just know the poster, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, the Best Editing, The Father, Mank, Nomadland, Sound of Metal, Tenet, again, wow, <laughs> in the trial of the Chicago 7. I think Tenet, personally, I <laughs> whoa, <laughs> I'm glad Tenet's getting nominated. Um... I think Tenet was a personal, uh, craft-wise, Tenet is a masterpiece, I think, when it comes to actually making the movie. So I'm glad it's actually getting nominated for its craft behind it, even though it's not the most ex accessible movie. Best Makeup and Hair. Emma, Hillbilly Edge, Marini's Black Bottom, Mank, Promising Young Woman, and United States vs. Billy Holiday. I barely seen any of these. I've seen Marini's Black Bottom, Mank, and Promising Young Woman. Um, I, I'm guessing Mank will probably get this because it's, it's an older. Okay. Best visual effects, Greyhound, The Invisible Man, Mank, The Midnight Sky, Mulan, Tenet, and Wonder Woman 1984. Okay. Um, Mulan is questionable for me. I thought it had some crappy CG in there. And I thought the CG at times and Wonder Woman 1984 were kind of terrible so this makes zero sense to me some of these nominations but hey i hope wait what visual effects what visual effects are in mank <laughs> greyhound um oh okay but anyways um i i did like wonder woman wonder woman 1984 but it i don't think it's deser deserving of a um best visual effects nomination but tenant i hope gets that Best score, The Midnight Sky, Mank, Minari, um, News of the World, Soul, and Tenet. I'm glad Tenet got not. I think Tenet has the best score of the year. And yeah, Soul will probably win this though. Um, 
Eurovision Song Contest for best song. Okay. <laughs> okay. Eurovision Song Contest for best song, The Life Ahead, Judas and the Black Messiah, One Night in Miami, the winner of most. Well, One Night in Miami is going to sweep best song, I believe. The Outpost in the United States versus Billie Holiday. Best Foreign Film, Another Round, Collective, La La Rana, The Life Ahead, Minari, your winner, and The Two of Us. Best Comedy, Borat, some sequential movie film, Substance, can't say that word, The 40-Year-Old Version, hmm. The King of Staten Island, On the Rocks, Palm Springs, and The Prom. Okay. And that is it. So, we have a lot in here and i was quite shocked that tenet got nominated for a lot of craft um film well a lot of craft nominations which i'm happy that it did because i thought they were going to be tenet was going to be snubbed for a lot of categories and i think tenet is a visual masterpiece within itself i i've watched tenet about six times now to be completely honest and i've watched it with subtitles and I, I love it. I honestly really love Tenet. And I think it's almost ahead of its time, but yes, it does have its problems. But um, I'm glad it got nominated for um, a bunch of um, craft stuff. And that's all I really wanted for Tenet. Um, but the biggest, up, um, I don't know upsets the word for it, but the thing that um, shocked me the most that The Father wasn't nominated for Best Picture. That really upset me. Why isn't it here? Where is it? It's not here. Why? Um, is this a typo for variety or I I'm assuming it's not comment down below if it's not, uh, if it's a typo, but, um, yeah, best director, I everything, um, there was this, there was definitely some surprises and, um, I hope Tenet gets a couple of awards for its masterful craft. The visual effects category makes almost zero sense to me. Where is it? Um, a Greyhound that looked like some crappy CGI. Invisible Man, I get why that was nominated. It seamlessly fit. Mank, what visual effects? Midnight Sky, haven't seen it. Mulan, I thought had some terrible visual effects. Yes, it had some cool visuals here and there, but visual effects? No. Tenet, it worked very well. Some of the reverse stuff and the forward stuff and the other stuff all worked fantastically and it seamlessly fit in. I think Tenet should win this category. And Wonder Woman 1984, even though I do like the movie, didn't have great visual effects. Like, think of that close-up shot of Cheetah. Nominees for Critics' Choice visual effects. What? <laughs> um, maybe, I can't, uh, like, I'd rather have The Five Bloods nominated rather than Mulan. <laughs> or, who knows, but... Yeah, these are the nominations for um, the Critics' Choice. And I think if I had said all I have to say. I was shocked by some stuff. And all we need to really watch now are the awards themselves. Um, well, I know there's still the BAFTA nominations. Well, what are the BAFTA nominations? And, of course, the big guy, the Oscars. So, when are BAFTA nominations announced? Oh, nominations will be announced March 9th. Okay. When are... When are... Oscar... You can see how terrible I am at spelling. There we go. March 15th. Okay, so we've got a while for before the BAFTA and the Oscars, so I think this will be my um, last one for a while because that's all I really um, follow. I don't know if there's more than... Um, I know there's Golden Globes, SAG, Critics' Choice, BAFTA, and Oscars, and those are the only five that I follow. And though I don't know, there's I don't know if there is more than that. But yeah, um, the most thing the thing I'm most upset about was the father not being nominated. But yeah, and the most surprising thing I'm happy about was that Tenet got nominated for all these um craft categories. So that's all I have to say about these nominations. So yeah, anyways, like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that. And adios.